Hi, welcome to Genesis Engineers Academy. In this video, I am going to teach you the very interesting topic that is hyperbola by general method and also rectangular hyperbola. Okay. So this uh, is under the part that is the curves we use in engineering practice. First we will deal with the hyperbola, simple hyperbola by general method. Okay, so let's get uh, started. And one more thing, you have to, or otherwise uh, if not uh, subscribed, subscribe, press uh, bell button to uh, receive all important uh, videos. Now, draw hyperbola when the distance of the focus from the directrix is equal to 65 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 2 eccentricity is now more than 1 eccentricity is 1 that is called parabola eccentricity is less than 1 it is uh, ellipse Eccentricity is more than 1, it is hyperbola. Okay, now as usual, we have to draw one directory, directrix line and also axis line, both are perpendicular to each other. A, B, then C, D. Okay, that is a directrix, this is axis. Locate focus F keeping the distance 65 from the directrix. So that is the point for focus. Okay, so from the directrix it is 65 mm. Now you have to divide that CF into 5 equal parts. Why 5? So as I said earlier. CF that is uh, eccentricity is 3 by 2. So you have to take 3 plus 2 as 5. That is why we have to divide that uh, into 5 equal parts. Now look at uh, vertex V. So since uh, the numerator is 3, so you have to take uh, from the focus 3 parts away from the focus. So that is the vertex V. Okay, now draw the perpendicular line through V. Okay, now you have to locate the point E, keeping the distance V E is equal to V F. So that is the point E. Okay, V E is equal to V F. Now you have to join the C and D E and extend that line over. Now I have taken the black uh, points for smooth for having the smooth curve. So extra points those are. So I have to number mark points 1, 2, 3, 4. If you want you can also have other that is four more that is points. Now draw vertical lines through that is uh, these uh, one two three four those will cut the this extension line at one dash two dash three dash four dash one that cuts that so these vertical lines will cut the that inclined line called C G at uh, one dash 2 dash, 3 dash and then 4 dash. Okay. So this 1 1 dash, 2 2 dash, 3 3 dash, 4 4 dash will act as radii for having 
these uh, points now so draw an arc on 1 1 dash vertical line taking f as a center and radius equal to 1 1 dash so you have to cut uh, this arc on 1 1 and symmetrically the other side of that axis also you can have so that that is point p1 but symmetrically you have also another point called p1 dash and draw another arc that is on the 2 2 line taking f as the center and radius equal to 2 2 dash okay and at the same time you have to cut the the other point p2 dash right now you have to continue this in the same manner and keeping the center f and changing the radii into 3 3 dash and 4 4 dash so we have got points p1 p1 dash p2 p2 dash p3 p3 dash p4 and p4 dash so by joining two two lines two two points you have to have a, a rough curve and then keeping the, the other adjustments in line with the other continuous line draw a smooth curve that will be your hyperbola symmetric about axis c d okay so that is all for today please subscribe if not subscribe and uh, now i am going to teach you rectangular hyperbola which is used in physics also and also in engineering subjects so the, what is the difference between hyperbola and rectangular hyperbola I will teach you in another video. Now, construction of a rectangular hyperbola. If the point on the curve is given, so the point must be given to you. So, accordingly, that is the point means its position on the graph. Okay, so that is 2, 3, x axis 2, y axis distance is 3. Then you can locate that point. Based on that point, you have to draw this rectangular hyperbola. So draw OX, OY as in the graph, as in the case of graph, we use OX and OY, O is the origin. From the origin, you have to draw horizontal line OX and vertical line OY. And the, you have to lock, locate the point to, that is P as per the data given. And you have to line one horizontal line through that point and also one vertical line through point P. Right. So we got that to P. Okay. So now mark number of points on the P as much as you can. Minimum must be at least four or five. So I have taken 5 points, got it, now you have to draw the vertical lines through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now join that is origin that is O and 1, O2, O3, O4, O5 and so on. And this will cut the PF line at 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash. Okay, now it is your duty to draw horizontal line through 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash. Okay, now on 
intersection of this one one dash will give one point. Two two will give another point. Three three will give another point like that. So see this. Okay. So this will not uh, will predict us, and we have to take one more point to, to show symmetric about x and y axis. So I have taken extra that is point six, and I have extended that. That will cut the PF that is PE at six dash. Okay. So now. Draw horizontal and vertical lines. You will have that point. That is another point. So mark the points P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, and also P6. Over. So after getting these points for the curve, you have to simply join. Joining simply first, you have to draw a simple simple curves between. That is P six P P P one P one P two P two P three P three P four P five rough and then you have to draw the smooth curve. Okay, I hope you understood well. So don't forget to press the like button and also share among your friends so that they can also enjoy the same video. And this comment will boost us my energy. Please don't forget.